be making basics. What's going on YouTube, be making basics. Back again with another little video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. We're going back to back bangers. Today's video, I'm actually gonna be going over some mixing tips, okay? In Logic Pro 10.8, let's get it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say, I'm actually gonna play a little bit of the hook and of the uh, verse and just let y'all hear the beat and then we'll go into some mixing tips. pretty much it has some good levels on it but the first thing i would say like as far as mixing tips is to actually um you don't have to always you know bounce it down to this audio but it would help depending on like how many like plugins and stuff that you have on here so what we're going to actually do is go through the process of uh, exporting these files as audio so i'm just going to go ahead and push command shift e um or excuse me, first command shift S to save as. I'm gonna do it like a second version. And then I'm gonna come over here, highlight everything, push option, and then click on this to basically bring everything to nominal gain. Do the same thing with the actual um, the pan and over here. And then what I wanna do is actually come over here to utility and put a gain plugin on here. And what that's going to do is just affect the uh, pre-fader volume of the track. So I'll come over here and I'll do like the um, verse and a little bit of the in, um, hook and to see what needs to be turned down or up. So that's good enough here. Basically making sure nothing's peaking, uh, mainly on the actual tracks here. And I also, y'all saw me throw this on the stereo out. Again, you know, these are uh, some basic tips here. What I'm gonna do now is just go ahead and export this Command Shift E. And then um, instead of doing overload protection only, I'm gonna turn it off and just click these level, these least three options right here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on my, my uh, desktop. I'm just gonna do a quick little folder. I'm gonna call this beat blood work, and I'm just gonna call it stems. And then push enter. Remember the BPM, because you're gonna need that. So for this particular one, it's 155 BPM. And so, well, let's just go ahead and export, man. 
make sure you head over to my website bemakingbasics.com okay you can get like official courses like full video courses let's just talk about like a couple hours worth of video content in each one all right so you need courses royalty free sounds you know what i mean we have boot packs we have drum kits you can get those from the site you can also get mixing templates go head over to the site man get those courses get those kits it's going to help save you time and money i'm giving you all the experience i've had on making beats and especially in garage band logic protein so make sure you grab that anyway we're back man i'm gonna go ahead and push command s again to save I'm just going to go ahead and do like a new project. So we're not going to close this one. Again, we want to remember the BPM, which is 155, at least on this beat. And then I'm going to go ahead and open up this new session. So we're going to put it at 155. And then I'm just going to come over here to the very last top right um, option. And this is going to be where we can come over here to our desktop and grab the stems. All right, so like we're gonna let this go ahead and come in here. We're gonna say use existing tracks. And then pretty much we got this going right here. I'm gonna let these tracks load. Um, if I push the semicolon right here, you see this playhead, pretty much everything that you have highlighted will go directly to where that playhead is. And here's our beat. So next step right here is just to organize everything again. You know, I like to have like my drums in one place and then also my like, uh, melody in one place, so that's what we're gonna do. Put my, you know what I'm saying? Kid clap. Got a rim shot. I know we got these snares. Alright, open. Put this hat. Let's hold on. Um, shift. I'm gonna take these up to the top real quick. And then pretty much we have our beat. So last thing i want to do is take this like you know um, in marker and take it to the end of the beat very important and here we go so like when it comes to the mixing part like obviously you want to have first things first like a um, reference track i'm not gonna play that just based on copyright and stuff like that but um you want to basically have like a focal point um uh, in my opinion you know what I'm saying? So like I'll go for like this 808 is going to be a focal point and then like one of the main melody parts is going to be a focal point since this is like a trap beat. So what I'll do is I'll just go to where a section where there's the 808 and that me main melody part and we'll mix those first. here bring your second flute up and then after that like I'll start like on some EQ um, I like to use like subtractive EQ I'm gonna go over here and use a waves plug-in F here and then I'm gonna grab this plug-in right here this is a pretty good EQ. Let's easily take this and go on like that. First one. Cool. So now that we got that, we got this main melody part, and we also got the like 808. I'm going to start working on some of the other drum parts.
of you know some of these other sounds now. take out some of the lows on these uh, other instruments. Another thing you can do here is like say it's specific, specifically on the drums is look at like maybe making some some parts on the drums like stereo compared to mono so like for instance like this 808 I'm gonna go over here and make that mono this kick um, I might leave the clap stereo um, we'll do the stare the snare mono 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 do the hi hats mono open hi hat mono and then everything else I'm just gonna leave stereo. So it can actually just depending on how you, you know what I'm saying, do your tracks, it can end up hitting harder doing that. So the next thing I'm gonna do is actually go ahead and work on panning. So we'll push these to the left or right. be like a lot of finishing touches we can add certain plugins to boost certain instruments different things like that make sure you get subscribed to the channel and i'll see you in the next one hey what's going on it's ukai beats owner of beat making basics just wanted to welcome you to go ahead and get started with this beat making master program okay basically what this program is going to do is give you everything that's currently on beatmakingbasics.com plus you'll get all the future drops for life okay so what does that really mean so if you look here we got several courses on the site here plus we got a bunch of sound kits you feel me um all of these are royalty free drum kits i mean crazy and we got some templates here okay so what this basically is going to come come with is everything on the site plus what i'm gonna do is do an added bonus and give you um all the future drops for life so this sounds like something that you would like to learn how to do go ahead and click through and get enrolled now and i'll see you on the other side